Hello guys, I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad. Today, the Canadian Immigration Minister Sean Fraser has made a bunch of announcements and in this video, we are going to discuss exactly about that. He got something for almost everybody, even if uh, you are a student, maybe you are waiting for your citizenship, maybe you're waiting for your PR processing. He's addressed the backlogs issue, the processing times issue, and many other things. So we will be discussing all about it in this video. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, so on Sunday, I uploaded a video where I talked in detail about the challenges that uh, the Canadian immigration is facing in terms of the backlogs, the processing times, FSW draws not happening, all those things. Uh, and today, the Canadian Immigration Minister Sean Fraser actually held a press conference and he talked in detail about those problems and also the measures the Canadian government is actually taking. So in the last one week or so, we have seen a couple of interviews of uh, the Immigration Minister himself, uh, Sean Fraser, coming out, talking and acknowledging those issues that are there in the Canadian immigration system, uh, talking about the backlogs, talking about the problems that people are actually facing because of the backlogs, the processing times. So I'm really glad that he actually came out because the first step of uh, resolving a problem is first of all to acknowledge it. And if he's acknowledging it publicly, I'm really glad that is happening. So as I told you in the last video that the Canadian finance minister actually allocated $85 million just to address this problem of uh, increased backlogs and you know very high processing times. So uh, Mr. Fraser actually uh, commented on that, that he would be using that money and uh, RCC is actually hiring 500 extra employees to uh, process those applications. They're you know investing in tech uh, to actually process these applications. So they have said that by the end of this year, so of course this is gonna take time as we talked about earlier in the last video, by the end of this year, he's expecting that uh, with all the funding and uh, you know, with all the measures that RCC is actually now taking, uh, they will be able to get back on track. So yes, it would take time, but you can expect that towards the end of this year, the things will come back to track as far as the processing times and the backlogs are concerned. So he told that RCC actually made decisions on 500,000 PR applications in 2021. And in the first quarter of 2022, they are planning to uh, take decisions on 147,000 PR applications, which are actually double from the first quarter of 2021. So yes, he finally commented on the all program express entry draws not being conducted for a very long time now. So, um, you know, his reason was that because these draws have been paused uh, in that way, of course, no more applications would be coming in and RCC would be able to handle all the existing applications uh, in a much quicker manner. So as we actually saw in that memo when they said that uh, for the first half of 2022, there won't be any draws. Personally to me, that does not seem to be a scenario anymore. You know, again, I don't want to give false hopes to anyone, but uh, right now the situation seems that they have expedited the processing times, uh, you know, in a much, much faster manner than what it used to happen before. And obviously they're hiring more people, investing in tech. So you can see, uh, you know, these uh, backlogs to be cleared much earlier than what we were actually expecting. And if it happens, then of course, you could actually see the express entry draws to be conducted. But uh, we'll still wait to comment on that. I don't want to give false hopes. Probably all those people who are CEC applicants who might be, uh, you know, getting out of status in some time, they were waiting eagerly for the CEC draws. They are much more worried about, uh, you know, maybe they might need to get out of Canada because of that, because of that reason. Uh, he has addressed that question as well and uh, he said that yes, they are working on some uh, idea but the idea is not concrete yet so you might actually hear something uh, in the upcoming weeks or maybe you know in the upcoming months about it, about the CEC draws. So I think that they would be resuming the CEC draws uh, before they actually resume the FSW draws. Right, so now moving on to the next uh, category, which is the spousal sponsorship. So he said that the, the processing times of the spousal sponsorship have uh, more or less been met. One year timeline has been met in most of the cases. And to make it more transparent, there would be actually introducing a tracker 
an online tracker where you can actually go on to check the status of your application and more details about it and that would be launched somewhere in February 2022 so that's a great move actually so all those people who would be filing for the spousal sponsorship they would be able to you know see the progress and able to track it okay so that will be really helpful okay so talking about the processing times a very important point that he made was about the canada.ca website when you go onto that website and check the processing times of any program actually it just gives you the standard processing times with a condition mentioned that because of COVID-19 we cannot promise that these are accurate so he promised that going forward in few months time you would actually see much more realistic processing times the estimates mentioned there would be much more accurate and would actually portray the right picture so that people can actually uh, plan their life accordingly so the next category is the temporary resident visas it includes the tourist visas the work permits all of that so he said that he would be using the advanced data analytics actually to speed up those applications however the decision of uh, the approval or not would not be taken by the computer the visa officers would be taking those decisions but there is some technology in place now that would actually speed up that process as well and lastly about the citizenship applications he also told that yes there are backlogs and around 60,000 applications are on the final stage and also they would allow people to take the citizenship oath by self-attestation and celebrate the ceremony on a later date so that would actually help speed up the process all right guys so those were some of the key takeaways and the highlights from his press conference and the news release i know many of you are there who are pretty sad with what we have seen in the first couple of weeks in january with all that news uh, to all those people i want to say that you should go and invest some time in watching his press conference and also his interviews because going through your comments i see many of you are losing hopes on getting the canadian pr getting other visas moving to canada as such but how badly canada still needs the skilled immigrants you can actually get to know from his interviews however all these steps that are being taken all the measures it's going to take time for the results to reflect but with all the steps and the measures that are being taken it seems that few more months and things might get start getting back on track so to all those people losing hopes i really want to say that it's time to be a little more patient and i really hope that your canadian dream actually comes true